Okay, uh, I thought I'd make this video just to help some of my viewers who maybe would want to transition to Linux and what that path would actually look like. Okay, first things first, learn how to configure Vim. This is an excellent place to start because it'll teach you how to build things. Learn how to use it and then learn how to configure it. If you're on a Mac, you can do this right now. Get Homebrew and just download Vim and start using the terminal. Learn how to install ZSH as well and then configure that a little bit. That's also a really good thing you can do. You can do all this without changing your operating system. Learn how to get, learn how to configure Vim and get more comfortable with the terminal and lines of code, quote unquote, moving away from mouse centric GYs. If you're on Windows, use WSL and learn to get Vim plugins, learn about tree sitter, COC, or native LSP and all that, and get Vimtech, okay? This will give you an introduction into building and configuration, and it will develop your competencies by doing something. Uh, sure, this is not going to let you pass some test or whatever, but it will improve your competencies. It'll change your mindset, and it'll, it'll allow you to do things like build minimal arch, or build like a, a display environment. make custom key bindings and all, right? This is how learning actually happens. Doing, failing, and error messages. Get used to this process. You want skills, right? You want competency, right? Well, let's actually do things instead of studying some things in a textbook and preparing to perform for an exam. That's not how you're gonna go about learning Linux. There's no such thing as learning Linux either. Next off is Vim related again. Learn to use LaTeX with Vim. This is also excellent practice. Or NeoVim. Learn how to use VimTech. Make your own snippets. Transcribe old documents you made with MicroCuck Office and make it again in LaTeX and compile it using NeoVim, the VimTech extension. And learn how to use VimWiki as well. This again will make you familiar with the terminal and the keyboard. Get away from the fucking mouse. That's what it's really about. And okay, now you have a basic level of competency, right? With things like NeoVim. You're familiar with the terminal, you understand how configuration and whatnot works, and your attitude to learning is probably a lot better. This is probably the first time you learned something in your life. You know what I mean? And the reason doing things like this before booting Gosh might be a good idea is because it will change your attitude. A lot of people go into Linux, they'll type up Linux course online, and then they'll see somebody install Kali Linux, and then they'll think, oh, okay, I need to install Kali Linux and learn all these hacking tools for no reason apparently this is what linux is or they'll see like some network guy or whatever the fuck talk about linux and they'll be like oh, okay that's what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to prepare for the linux plus exam that's not what the fuck this is okay don't install kali linux or whatever the fuck it's a shit distro build things improve your attitude learn what you want and be intentional with your learning okay kali linux is a shit distro ask yourself what you use a computer for okay and then intentionally try to diy the tools for your use cases so with report generation latex is a good framework and uh, vim and neovim are excellent text editors so what i did is i figured out how i can use those two tools and basically generate reports using them which and then i figured out things like vim tech and stuff exist and then it just changed my life forever don't blindly follow some lincox tutorial online make your own decisions for once in your fucking life and be intentional with your learning latex and report generation and document generation is universal start with something like that and then again many other things music player use cmos download your own music file management use lf again you'll learn how to configure and your competencies will compound as you learn more things image editing use GIMP. This is about switching to FOSS and learning new programs instead of just switching your operating system and then downloading Google Chrome and then going to uh, microsoftoffice.com online and doing it through some cloud service. Then there's just no point in changing to Linux at all. And now after you do all that Vim shit, now would be a good time to actually boot minimal Arch Teletype port. You're used to configuring things from RCs or config files and basically code and all that is not scary for you error messages aren't that scary and you're a lot more precise with your syntax and you will have an attitude that is focused on understanding what you want to do instead of just blindly following the guy you see somebody do a command you copy the command and then you press enter and then you're like fuck it's different no and once you install arch you'll need to do things like get a display server get xor get x11 and then you'll need a window manager i recommend i3 Yes, I use DWM, GigaChat, <laughs> but i3 is fine. And with things like i3, again, it'll involve editing a .config file, 
which is not going to be as scary to you anymore. You understand how it works. No more clicking boxes and control panels or some fucking settings menu. And then you can do other things like make your own status bar, figure out how that works, uh, get into some basic shell scripting. And now is where transitioning to Arch fully is a possibility for you. Every use case you have on your main Mac Fag OS or WinCup or whatever, you can start isolating that use case and figuring out how to do it in a more minimal way on something like Arch. Again, Microsoft Office to LaTeX, uh, Excel to our programming language or Python for data analysis. You get the point. And once you start using Arch and once you start changing the way you do things, you'll actually get the hang of it. The main tip I can give is to really start doing something in your fucking life at the end of the day and start questioning the way you do things and change the way you do them. Don't take technology for granted. This is why your roadmap might not be a good idea because then you'll start doing Vim and then you might just stay in Vim forever. You'll never know when you've learned enough Vim to go to the next chapter. This is why chapters are a bad idea. You could fucking boot arch right now, if anything, and you could just figure it all out. That could work as well. In fact, that's probably the best way to go about it. And then you could force yourself to change your programs. That's what it really comes down to. And this is why I feel a little scared giving you a roadmap, because then it's just learning is not supposed to be that sequential. It's here's how you can do something really cool. And then you're going to be like, oh, okay, I like that. I'm going to take that aspects of that and implement it in my own personal way. That's what it's really about. There are many things I learned after getting this fucking arch teletype install. The status bar I did by myself, the terminal file managers, I explored into that, you know, LF file manager, more Vim shit, customizing Alacrity, custom fonts, D menu shell scripting that is incredibly useful. And I've made videos on all of these as well. And these are things I learned after I went into it and after I started questioning the way I did things. I would keep running the same command again every time I plugged in my pen tablet and I thought, wait, can I automate this? Yes, I can. And then Vim wiki and things like that. Again, you keep progressing. That's how you evolve. And evolution is endless. There is no final exam. There is no, yes, I know this. You keep learning. That's just really how it is. And this is one of those areas where I don't want to tell you what to do. Learning isn't like school where you have chapters and it's all sequential and shit. Learning happens by doing. And you probably aren't doing shit right now. And don't expect to get everything in one day either. This process takes time. Yes, evolution is slow and there are no tests here and learning will often feel incomplete. You'll be configuring Vim and you'll be like, wait, I can always make it like a wee bit better. Uh, what should I do? Can I boot Arch yet? I compiled this LaTeX document. I don't know, man. I cannot tell you when you're ready. It's like a leap of faith. When do I know I'm Spider-Man? You won't. That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. And in the end, there is no passing the Linux virginity test or something. Your skills will keep evolving. You will keep evolving. Your experience will keep increasing. It is endless and it is actually fulfilling. So start the journey, dive in the deep end and learn to fucking swim. That is what learning really is about. That is the true roadmap. It's not a roadmap. It's just entering the fucking jungle. Okay, uh, there's no fucking A plus at the end of the road. There's no destination or whatever the fuck. So that's all I got. I wish you luck. If you have any questions, Ask ChatGPT. Thanks for watching. Bye.